हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल और आज मैं जा रहा हूँ बहुत ही एक्साइटिंग जगह अगर आपने मेरा पुराना वीडियो देखा है अबाउट ड्रोन रूल्स सो यू नो दैट फॉर फ्लाइंग माइक्रो ड्रोन फॉर कमर्शियल पर्पज यू नीड अ रिमोट पायलट लाइसेंस एंड आज मैं जा रहा हूँ एक रिमोट पायलट ट्रेनिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में जहाँ पे दे ट्रेन पीपल एंड दे शू द सर्टिफिकेट एंड लाइसेंस सो लेट सी हाउ दीज इंस्टीट्यूट्स आर एंड वट आर थिंग्स दैट वी हैव टू डू देयर सो आई एम गोइंग टू डी पी जी डिग्री कॉलेज दैट इज इन गुड़गांव एंड दे हैव इंस्टीट्यूट और सेक्शन विच इज ड्रोन वर्स विच इज दिस आर पी टी ओ दैट इज रिमोट पायलट ट्रेनिंग ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो इन दिस यूर आई गेट माई सेल्फ अ सर्टिफिकेट and i'll also tell you like what you have to do to get a certificate and what are the things that they teach in uh, training institute so yeah watch the video till the end and there are a lot of other benefits also of getting this uh, license which i'll tell you later on So if you are flying micro category drone which are above 250 grams and generally good drones with good sensor they are big and they are generally above 250 grams so if you are flying those drones for commercial purpose and by commercial purpose i mean if you are someone who shoots wedding or for government purposes like you are some vendor who providing service to government then you are definitely doing it for commercial purpose and in that case you need to have this remote pilot license and uh, so it's a 5 day course vlogging while driving who am i kidding so let me continue from there it's a 5 day course in which day 1 and day 2 are for classroom training in which all the theory part is covered on day 3 we have to do training on simulation and on day 4 and day 5 we actually fly the drone so in this video i'm going to cover each day and we are going to see in detail what it takes to get a remote pilot license in india so guys finally i'm here and this is to conversation by the way so here they teach uh, the person how to get the certificate and all so i'll be registering here and then uh, we'll see how this training goes on okay in the form we have to fill in the basic details you need to carry your documents like passport size photo aadhar card passport and class 10th mark sheet your pilot profile is created on digital sky platform then begins our classroom sessions In the classroom sessions we are taught about rules working principle science history technology application batteries flight controller rc gps imu navigation and what not you are always taking a path shortest path to the particular height we call it as 20000 having a license is good let's listen to the experts So I have reached DPG Degree College and यहाँ पर है Drone Works Private Limited का setup where they teach, train and guide you all about drones uh, in India. We have uh, Pulkit here from. Uh, hello Pulkit. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. Fine. So uh, we have Pulkit here who is uh, looking after all the functionality of Drone Works here. So we'll get to know more about uh, drones from him. Uh, what does uh, drone works offers to a person who comes to this institute so drone works aviation is a dgca certified drone pilot rpto remote pilot training organization and our aim is to educate people about this industry all together and uh, this is a very nascent and growing industry and this is going to revolutionize uh the entire ecosystem in india all together and even the government is taking lot of steps to actually uh make this exceptionally well so aage aane wale time mein drones will play a very crucial role in all the aspects so our agenda our motive is to educate people what is about this ecosystem what goes on in and behind it 
and how they can get educated. See, we try to educate people to the fullest. Even if it's a person who has been flying drones for a while, if it's a person who is very new to this industry, we treat everybody to their potential and we try to explain them. If it's necessary, we need to teach them for say eight hours instead of six hours of their initial classes, we try to do that. If any kind of kid needs special attention wherein he and even if he has uh, like uh, interests in different kind of fields such as agriculture, GIS, surveillance, asset inspection, we in depth teach about all that stuff. Uh, that's about it. So we try and bring more and more people on board and try to get them uh, placements also. So this is something that we also assist people with. So there are about uh, 2.5 lakh vacancies across India uh, as stated by our uh, respected Prime Minister and he has been working very hard to actually bring employment and this is one uh, uh, like field wherein you can easily learn a skill and uh, get your employment and monetize it all together. So that's about it. How can people find uh, about this institute and what is the structure of your training program and what is the fees? Can you so you can reach us out on our Facebook, Instagram, our website. You can even Google us. It's Droneverse Aviation Private Limited. I'll tell you about the training program. So it's a five-day training program. Ideally, uh, where in two days it's your online theory classes. And post your online theory classes, we do your offline training wherein there is simulator training, uh, drone assembly classes, uh, followed by your drone flight. So this is how the curriculum goes on and uh, the course fee that uh, that is there is 45,000 plus taxes that we are charging and if you come through uh, his reference definitely you get a good discount. So yeah, cheers. Post classroom training, we have an objective type test. We have to score at least 70% of the marks to proceed to the next part of the training. So here comes the question paper and I cannot show you the question paper on screen. For that you have to come here and learn everything. So let's start it. Next part is a simulation. I find it the easiest part of the entire training. Probably because I have already flown a drone on a simulator and in real life. The simulation part of the training is of 4 hours, which is plenty of time to learn to fly. On the simulator, the drone has trailing lines so that you can see its path. So with the path visible, you have to create shapes like square, circle, inclined squares, etc. And there are multiple ways to create a shape. In that way, you learn how to fly a drone. And this simulation is very much real. They have been designed to mimic the real conditions. So there are options like wind speed, rotor failure, etc. As a final test, we have to create the infinity or shape of numeric digit 8. It's perfect 8. This one is my Simulation done. Next day, we were outside. So it's day 4 of our training and today we are at the ground because today is our flying lessons. We are going to fly. We have to complete like 4 hours of flying experience before we are issued a certificate. So this is the ground and here we are set up. This is a drone. So it doesn't have camera so we will be flying in uh, like line of sight stationary you can say stationary look we'll have we have walkie talkies remote batteries yeah so let's do it here we learn how to arm the drone checking batteries replacing batteries identifying the orientation of the drone in flight and other prerequisite flight checks The instructor accompanies us and is always on the master remote controller.
So during actual flight, again you have to make shapes like squares, circles, etc. Like we did on the simulator. But here real conditions prevail like certain drift in the drone, time lag in location update on GPS, loss of altitude during pitch, etc. You have to be mindful about these things during actual flight. Believe me, you don't want to crash drones like I did a couple of times. You can watch the video linked above for my drone crash compilation and the one I crashed during my trip to Meghalaya. As you have to complete 2 hours each day, it can become a little boring. Maybe because I have already flown drones earlier. But for someone who might be flying it for the first time, it is very crucial. Again, so many flights on the next day. I was used to see just DJI drones, but here I got to see so many other type of drones and that really enables you to see a larger perspective. So to list out the benefit of getting a remote pilot license, first one is obviously getting a remote pilot license. So as I explained earlier, to do any job, to fly the drone for the commercial purpose, you need a remote pilot license. And to do a job for government or to do our own business, the legal way is to get a remote pilot license. Second one is, uh, you get to know about the drone rules and the total ecosystem of the drone in India. I have made a concise video about drone rules that you can uh, watch here. But in this training, we get to know about the rules in detail. Third one is job. Yes, the drone has displayed its capability in many fields and at the same time, it's opening job opportunities in those fields as a remote pilot license or as a drone pilot, you can say. And actually, you can convert your hobby into profession by doing this course. And at this point, I realized the importance of this course and doing it from Droneverse. Here in Droneverse, they assist you in getting a job as a remote pilot license or as a drone pilot. They have contact in various industries where the demand of drone pilot is there. And if that industry suits you, you can very well go there and start earning basically from this talent you that you have just learned in this course. So while doing this course from Droneverse, I felt freedom to, you know, learn and try new things and do more things basically. So if you want to do an extra hour on simulator, you can do it. And if you want to try some maneuver from the actual drone, you can do it. So they are always ready to go an extra mile, whether it uh, be a simulation, doubt clearing or actual flying. And their fees is competitive too. Recently, they were running the Diwali campaign in which they offered huge discount. And I'm pretty sure that they will keep on coming with such more discounts. And while this is not official, but if you tell them that you learned about them through this video, like you got to know about Droneverse by watching the video on Logan to Goro, uh, I won't get anything. And this is not official but you might get a deal for yourself. So yeah, you can do that. Generally, it takes 14 days for your license to come. And in Remote Pilot Institute, you get a, a logbook like this, in which all your flight, uh, actual flight and your simulation details are being logged. I have received my drone pilot license and I will ask you to stop this video and scan this QR code to get to the link uh, where you can see my remote pilot license. And yes, the validity of license is 10 years. So that's very good. So that was all guys in this video about getting a remote pilot license in India. If you like the video, then uh, share it with your friends who might find it useful. And don't uh, forget to press the like button and uh, subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And that was all guys. Do check my channel for other videos on drones and about travel in general. So see you guys in the next video.